Uh, a lot of you are maybe looking to kind of celebrate that. Also head out uh, for your Thanksgiving. So we have a full look at that travel forecast and some of the trouble spots we may actually see crop up as we head through the next couple of days. So let's get a look right now at the latest on what we're seeing. No big storms. There is some rain down here towards Houston, but as far as current delays go, there are no delays at all across our major airports. So excellent news if you're headed to take off tonight or going to the airport to pick someone up. Let's give you a closer view here at California. Also wanted to add in Las Vegas, Palm Springs and San Diego also running with no airport delays. Now back here across the Bay Area, we are tracking high pressure. This is going to stay in place through Thanksgiving, really giving us some stable weather, dry conditions and some of that sunshine. So just what you need if you're hopping in the car, uh, heading up to Northern California or Southern California, uh, we'll be looking pretty excellent out here on the roadways. The one thing we'll have to contend with, though, is the cold mornings, but I don't really think anybody's complaining about that. It is November after all just about Thanksgiving, so it's nice to kind of get that uh, heavier jacket out and enjoy it. 38 in the Tri-Valley Peninsula, 41, 39 for the average in the South Bay. Also dipping to some upper 30s in the East Bay, SF 44 and patchy frost again for the North Bay and temperatures down to an average about 35 degrees. Daytime highs for tomorrow. Here's the best part about our weather. While we start off cold, we'll continue to see it rebound excellent through the afternoon with that sunshine, even getting up to 70 in Gilroy, 60 69 in East San Jose for the East Bay. How about a 68 in Concord? 69 Pleasanton looking good in Fremont at 67 degrees. Peninsula 65 in San Mateo down to Palo Alto 68 San Francisco. We have a mix of some upper 50s and low 60s. Looks really, really nice if you're uh, even headed to uh, downtown Union Square, maybe hitting the ice rink or uh, heading out to do some sort of holiday shopping over to the North Bay 69 here in Santa Rosa back to Napa 67. So weather here tomorrow dry as we head into the forecast, though, I did want to show you by Saturday. There's the chance of a spotty shower. The system is near the coast. The way it looks now, it ride down the coastline just to the south of us with just a spot chance here of some showers and a little dusting of snow as we move into Saturday's forecast. Now beyond this, what you'll see here, what I'm looking out for here as we head through travel this Thanksgiving week is maybe some spotty showers, as we mentioned this weekend, those cold mornings, national delays from Texas to the southeast. There could be uh, some heavier rainfall developing on Thanksgiving and the day after. And then next Monday, that can always be a big travel day for people to head back. Rain delays will be possible in the northeast and the northwest with also some heavier rain. So we'll continue to keep you updated. Just wanted to give you that early heads up on my seven day forecast. You'll see right here as we just talked about Thanksgiving is dry. A 40% chance of showers on Saturday and then another spotty chance as we roll into next Monday and we're staying with those 60s for highs. I think the big thing as we look ahead towards next week is we may see those increasing chances of rain and some very cold mornings, even colder than what we've had lately. So uh, a lot happening here, but I think uh, it's looking nice. All right. Thank you, Jeff.